let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The significance of sacrifice, everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. Golden text, St. Luke chapter 17, verses 12 to 19. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourself unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy fate hath made thee whole. Introductory spiritual chorus Faith without work is dead. I say faith without work is dead. Faith without work is dead. Quote, brethren, the above spiritual food and chorus are what would form the theme of our lesson. Do not allow anybody to deceive you that God would be Pleased with whoever does not comply with the text stated above. Do not also deceive by, be deceived by anybody that says that whoever does not love God has believed in him. Furthermore, do not allow yourself to be deceived by anybody that a person could know God without putting his injunctions into practice. Anybody who claims that he has beheld the physical presence of God but is unable to keep his ordinances is a liar. Of all the people found in this kingdom of God, who are, who are identified as the real children of God? For it is said, whoever believes in God must also believe in a man whom he has seen. If anybody claims that he believes fervently in God and does not believe in a man he sees, such a person should be regarded as a blatant liar. Many people have not yet understood the reason why God demanded sacrifice from Cain and Abel. Is it that God is interested in sacrifice? It should be known that from that period onward, God has been using this medium to ascertain those who actually believe in Him and those who do not anchor their belief in Him. And if God had not used this yardstick of sacrifice, it would have been difficult for Him to know those faithful to Him. To prove this, Abel emerged as the one who is faithful to God. Abel sacrificed the fattest ram to God, while Cain, who was not faithful to God, chose a skeletal ram to sacrifice unto God. Because of Abel's, of Abel's faithfulness, he was greatly blessed and regarded as a son. Abraham's good deeds had prompted God to reward him with righteousness and to be called 
a friend of God. The significance of sacrifice in olden times was for God to discern who really loved him. It was not as if God desired sacrifice. God is not interested in your money or your house, your clothes or knowledge and beauty. He is only interested in your love for him and he knows those who really love him in this kingdom. It is not the multitude of people that counts. Rather what counts are those who really love God. For it is said, many are called, but few are chosen. Recall the night Christ was betrayed. He told his disciples that all of them would desert him when he, the Son of Man, would be taken away to be crucified. Peter told him that even if our other disciples deserted him, he would not abandon him, that he would stand by him. But what was the situation in the end? This is to confirm that the spoken word of God must always materialize and this is to reveal those who really love God because you who claim to love God must necessarily prove it by your works. A lot of people lay claims to earnestly doing the work of God without the least knowledge that they are wasting their time. The kingdom of God is likened to a group of people who attended an interview and at the end of the exercise only a few were chosen as qualified since those chosen were the only people who met the demands of the interviewer. Some members complain of the inconvenience of attending evening worship instead of having sound sleep in their houses. But if I may ask, who subjected you to all these tests? Heaven and earth belong to God, so he is not disturbed whether or not you are tired. All constitute mere tests for God to ascertain those who really love him. Do not come to brother out of the cross and star hoping that your problem will be taken away because if you have such impression at the back of your mind you will definitely return empty-handed. Read the golden text again. Golden text and Luke chapter 17 verses 12 to 19 And as he entered into a certain village there met him ten men who were lepers which stood afar off, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. The Jews and the Good Samaritan, brethren, according to the text, there existed ten lepers who were cleansed, but only one of them came back to express gratitude. Where were the rest? This is the greatest of all the Gospels, that only leper who came back to express his heartfelt gratitude was a Samaritan, while the rest were Jews who claimed to know God. 
The reason this story was recorded in the scriptures was to reveal that God desires a thankful heart for whatever he does for you. And this is also to show that it is beneficial for somebody to endure to the end because salvation is meant for those who endure to the end. The blessing which God pours out to his children in this kingdom is classified into three categories. What form the first category of blessing is the beginning of the service. Midway into the service constitutes the second category, while the end of the service makes the third category. That is when the Almighty God walks and leaves his highest heaven. From the beginning to the end of the service is only when full blessing can be received. This reveals the importance of enduring to the end. Whoever loves and believes in God has to exercise endurance and take part in all the activities in the kingdom of God because time of judgment is really close, even closer than the tongue is to the teeth. Anybody who claims that he is not going to worship man is outrightly, is outrightly stupid. The reason being that Christ manifested and died. He did so for sinful men and not for the trees and the stones. Therefore, all those who claim that they are not going to worship man are merely being stupid. More so are those who only extend their love to God alone and not to their fellow man are foolish. Biakpan, the Holy Land, brethren, this is actually the kingdom that King Nebuchadnezzar dreamt about. The gospels imparted to you in the kingdom constitute the last of all gospels. The golden rule in the kingdom is to love one another irrespective of where you find yourself on earth. What the Holy Father has used Calabar Area Fellowship to achieve is really wonderful. This confirms the assertion that two or three persons are better than a multitude provided they possess love. Also, what the Father in the International Women's Fellowship has done cannot be expressed in words. All those who believe in God are found in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. If any of you go to be a pan with the intention of going to have his problems solved, such a person merely goes there to exhibit his unbelief. Because Biakpan is distinctively a holy land and not a place of lamentation. Besides, if you go to Biakpan just because of the divine call, it will also reveal you as an unbeliever. The reason being that Biakpan is a place where anybody can go at any time to rejoice with God. Conversely, if anybody goes to be a pan without any intention of drawing water from the holy stream to take home or to do something similar to that, such a person can be said to be walking according to the dictates of God. In this kingdom, force is not used on anybody to induce submission or subordination. Everything here is done according to the directives of the Holy Spirit. Beloved, 
I do not want to take you further. It is said that a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wife. Let he who has ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy word. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.